guys, a couple of months ago, I contacted Wiltons and I basically told them, you like Tina Turner. You simply the best! But I did it in like professional mode with like periods and commas and capitalization. You guys know that I love Wilton's. This is my favorite mold and it's by Wilton's and it's discontinued but I call it my sriracha mold because I try to use it on everything like sriracha. When they emailed me back and they said we know you and we like your stuff, I was feeling like Beyonce. Feeling myself. Now they asked me for my wish list of products and I basically said I want everything. So last week they sent me this amazing present and I thought it'd be fun to open it with you guys. So let's get started. It's so heavy and they wrapped it and everything. I'm joking. I wrapped it. It came in like a UPS box. A damaged UPS box. But I wanted this to be special so I wrapped it. And I had to wrap it in such a way that I didn't see the inside. Because I really wanted to be surprised when I opened it with you guys. I've never wrapped a box like this before. And I even made this giant bow. Also I forgot that the camera was on so I, I spent a good probably like 30 minutes watching old vines on YouTube. <laughs> now let's get to opening this baby. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's all the things I wanted. I got so much fondant. Yeah. It's a cake leveler. Pearl luster dust. I asked for this because it's so hard to find black luster dust. And even when I try to find the Wilton's version, I can't. It's never at the Walmart. Next, we have an offset spatula because I just wanted a Wilton's brand one. There's just something about that word on your stuff. It just looks so cool. The one I have is breaking, so I wanted another one. And this one looks so nice. This just makes it really easy to like lift heavy cakes, which is what I need. I need ease because my cake structures are not sound yet. So I always need to make sure that I can lift things and then put them down very carefully. This hat is fallen, you guys. I'm just gonna... I'll deal with it after when I turn off the camera. <gasps> this is perfect. This one is cool, but that one is the one I'm really excited about. Well, you attach this to the handle and then you roll it on top of the fondant and then it rolls a pattern onto your fondant. So you get this really cool design. This one is a diamond design. Do you see it? Can you see it? Look, I'm like a beauty guru putting my hand behind it so you can see it. Does that work? You see it? You see it? You see it? So this one has like very small grooves and it kind of texturizes it so that it would look like cheesecloth or like, you know, like uh, you know when you buy a sack of potatoes? Kind of like that. And the reason I'm excited about this is because I didn't even know this existed, but I'm making a scarecrow cake. And this is like perfect for like that sack that the scarecrow head looks like. You know what, we're gonna put on my regular hat because this Santa Claus hat is just not working for me. Next I asked for disposable 12 inch bags. So the Wilton's bags have like this really clean cut on each side. The ones that I buy uh, are not like that. So it comes like this and when you tear it, now one side is clean but the other side has this really sort of present seam on this side. You see it? That bothers me. Now these are so cool. You know how Wilton's makes their bags like this instead of this? Cause it's simply the bag. I should open the cake leveler too. The old one that I have, which is also Wilton's, it's got a very sort of straight floss thread. This one has ridges so it'll cut the cake better. This one has different like grooves so you can place the thread higher or lower. But then every single time I'm creating a cake, I have to count which groove I'm gonna put it in. And this one has numbers, so I just put it to the number. Seven on this side, seven on the other side. No more counting. And I'm terrible at math. Just like I'm terrible at English. Yeah, boy. Now, the next thing I asked for was fondant. Really, can I hold it all together? I feel like Adele trying to hold all of her Grammys at the same time. Do a side by side of me and Adele. <laughs> yeah, I asked for fondant because... Whoa! 
I go through a lot of fondant. So when I started making cakes, I constantly had to like think about how fast I could move and what cakes I could make because I had to make sure that I could afford the fondant. So I was like, you know what? I need black, I need red, I need blue, green, and yellow. And I'm good. Mm, mm. Like Beyonce just displaying all her Grammys. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm on QVC trying to sell you guys Wilton's products. That's gonna be my goal, to be on QVC one day, selling Kowali Pop stuff. Make sure you head over to the Wilton's YouTube channel. You know it. I know you already subscribed. And then spam them with love. Spam them, spam them with, oh, spam them with Kowali Pop said, you're simply the best. I'm excited, I already know what I'm gonna use all of these colors for. Red is gonna be for my Mulan Mushu cake. The black is for the Batmobile cake. Blue is gonna be for my Peacock cake. What, what other cake am I making? There's like a list on that wall. Let me go look at it real fast. Oh, okay, I got it. Yellow is gonna be for my Jake the Dog cake from Adventure Time. Ah! And green is gonna be for my Bulbasaur cake. Yeah, boy. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you got for Christmas because I know y'all got some really good stuff too. I love you guys. I will see you very soon.